Hey guys, Ash here from CostForward.com and this is my tutorial on how to root the Samsung Galaxy S4 i9-500. So uh, this is the octa-core variant. So what you need to do here guys is uh, hit link 1 in the download section in the description of this video. Download Samsung keys and install it. And once you've installed Samsung keys, uh, from link 2, download this file. Uh, it, a zip file, download it, right click extract it all right now go in and you'll find odin 3 and you will find another file so right now right click on odin 3 and hit run as administrator enough hit pda and select the other file in the other file there the coffers i9 500 cwm recovery underscore en underscore new so select it. Now make sure that auto reboot and f dot reset time are the only two that's checked and everything else remains unchecked. And now let's get the Galaxy S4. So guys, this time around I've got a Galaxy S4 that I'm yet to boot up. So this is the S4 just out of the box. I'm halfway through my unboxing video and here's the battery. I've not it opened it up. I'm not going to boot the phone unless it has root access. So let's do it. So don't be worried guys, I've been rooting Samsung Galaxy phones for quite a long time now and I know exactly what I'm doing. And that's the reason why I'm doing this uh, even without booting my phone up a single time. If you're still worried, you can jump to the end of this video and check that my phone booted up just fine and we've got root access. So, so what you need to do is hold down volume, power and home at the same time. and you will get this option hit volume up to continue alright so right now get your micro USB cable plug it into your USB port on the PC and connect the other end to your Galaxy S4 So guys, as long as you have the drivers installed, that is uh, Samsung keys installed properly, this turns blue. So if it doesn't, just go ahead and install any drivers you might have. First off, make sure that Samsung keys isn't running in the background. And uh, if, you, if it still doesn't turn blue, go ahead, uninstall Samsung keys, re uh, reboot your system, reinstall Samsung keys, reboot it again, and continue. So now your phone is in the download mode. Now hit start. So this is what happens on the Galaxy S4. It will reboot. So wait for it to boot up. You'll get pass on screen. You can unplug the micro USB cable now. Alright guys, once you're up, just hold up volume, power and home at the same time. Just keep holding it. You can let the keys go once you see Samsung Galaxy S4 display. Now this will take you to Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now just scroll down, select root your phone, hit the power button and it says root done, please reboot your phone. So hit reboot system now. So give it a few minutes to boot up, a few seconds rather. So there you see Super SU, hit continue, installation success, now going into the Play Store, let me just sign in to my Google account. Let's test it by downloading 30 titanium backup. Asking root access, hitting ground. And there you see, it's been granted uh, super user access. 
So that's pretty much it for rooting the Samsung Galaxy S4 i9500. If you run into any issues or if you have any queries, feel free to hit us up at cusforward.com slash forums. So if there's any other video tutorial that you want me to make, or that is if you have any video requests for me, or if you just want to stay updated on my latest videos and updates, you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or Google+. All my contact details are in the description. So that's pretty much it for now. I uh, hope you guys like the video. Before you go, uh, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. So once again, that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, this is Ashia from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.